How to have a PC run correctly and last a lifetime. This is not difficult to achieve. I think everyone should be given the option to make their own minds up. Have a computer that lasts a lifetime or buy one that will fail eventually. Three, five or ten years, but it will fail. When you buy branded computers, these are the things you have to be concerned about. They will not last in the long run. They are not upgrade friendly. They are expensive to repair. They have third party added software that's useless and reduces the speed of the computer, which you have to pay to use after free trial. Or buy a custom PC that will last and is easy to upgrade. When you buy custom PCs, these are the things you don't have to be concerned about. They will last in the long run. They are upgrade friendly. They are inexpensive to repair. They have no third party added software. Only software that you want to install and use. Do you want to have control and not have to buy a new computer every five or so years? The option to have a computer that lasts a lifetime, which can be a rock solid foundation in your computing life. We all know that computers become outdated and in most cases unusable and not fit for purpose. Smartphones, laptops, tablets, they all get replaced with newer technology. And branded desktop computers have the same problem. So what's the difference between a computer that lasts a lifetime and one that does not? Being able to upgrade the computer is key because without control over replacing components and the operating system, your computer is not going to survive long term because parts and software get corrupted over time, slowly and sometimes very quickly. It's just the nature of computers. And you also have the added problem of the computer not being compatible with the latest technology as they become outdated. And the areas you need to have full control over are the operating system and the motherboard or sometimes called the systems board. Branded PCs like Dell, Apple, Asus, HP, Lenovo and Samsung. You don't get an operating system on a DVD with these branded PCs. So the end user license agreement is a big problem and so is the original equipment manufacturer. So end users license agreement, you only, uh, you, you only get um, 90 days on the operating system on a branded PC, where if you buy the operating system on a DVD, you have the license for life. So that's the difference there. And the original equipment manufacturer, you get a 12 month guarantee with branded PCs on the parts or the components of the computer. So if you build a custom PC or get someone to build it for you, you get a um, three year warranty on most parts that go into a custom built PC. So you could keep that in mind. So basically what this means when you don't have the operating system, what this means is you can't upgrade the systems board without reinstalling the operating system, Windows, Mac or Linux. So if you upgrade a branded PC systems board, which you will have to do if you want your PC to last a lifetime, then you will have to purchase a new operating system license and reinstall all the software you use on your computer. How to avoid this problem? Buy a non-branded PC, which is a custom built PC. When you build yourself or get somebody or a company that specializes in building PCs and get them to build it for you. This type of PC is half the price of a branded PC. And that means you can have a faster and more powerful PC for the same price as your branded PC. And you can upgrade as you go without any difficulty. If you're going to be buying a PC anyway, then why not buy one that will last? And set it up correctly from the start so that it runs smoothly and efficiently all the time. Is this easy to do? Yes. And there are two ways of doing it. First way is go to a custom PC builder or a custom PC website and place your order for a low, mid or high end PC and they will build it for you.
and make sure you get an operating system DVD and product key. If it's not clearly shown that you get an operating systems DVD, then ask. This has to be included or it's not a custom built PC with an operating system that you have all the rights to. This is important because it gives you control over upgrading and the important upgrade will be the systems board. I will have links under this video to reputable PC builder websites so you can go and check them out. The second way of building a custom built PC is build it yourself. In my opinion this is the best way because it's not difficult to build a computer but if you're interested I can show you every step live via webcam or through a smartphone the options are endless. You can contact me if you want to find out more or visit my homepage. I also have the complete computer build video posted on my homepage at computerhelpmadeeasy.com. How hard is it really to build a computer? Well, for starters, connecting the parts of a PC, building the PC, it's like putting on a pair of shoes. Right shoe, right foot. You get the idea. All parts that make up a PC are keyed. They only fit in in one direction. You can't install a component incorrectly on a PC. Other reasons for building your own PC are you learn the skills required to maintain your PC. You learn how easy it is to upgrade a PC. You save a fortune on repair bills. There are none because you can repair it yourself. You save the price of a new PC every three to five years. What most people do. They buy a new PC every three to five years. Why? Well, their PC becomes slow or stops working for some reason or it just won't run the way they want it to or it's just outdated and not capable of running the latest technology. And that's really the reasons why people buy a new PC. So they go and buy a new PC and reinstall all their software, which will then hopefully have none of these problems. That is until that new PC starts having the same old problems all over again. Sounds familiar? There are three main reasons why this happens. One, the operating system, which is software, deteriorates and gets corrupted. It's just a natural thing that happens to software over time. Number two, the hard drive, which has the same problems, deterioration, cor corruption and also damage due to wear and tear. And three, other hardware, motherboard, RAM, video card, power supply, they all deteriorate, get corrupted or get damaged due to wear and tear. It really is just the nature of these components and the software that you install on the computer. How to prevent these common problems? A hardware replacement plan. Components or parts don't last forever. They must be replaced. And on a timetable, every three to five years is the easiest way to do it. This keeps your PC up to date with the latest tech. And the cost of doing so is less than 40% of the price of a new computer. No reinstalling all your important software as you would if you bought a new PC. Important area number two that needs to be addressed is the operating system refreshing. So running a systems image. I have videos there on my YouTube channel that you can go and check out on how to actually um, make a systems image of your hard drive. So what this does is it refreshes the operating system and all the important programs you use on a regular basis. This prevents deterioration and corruption of the operating system and your important programs. If you need help with the systems image, let me know here on Computer Help Made Easy. So on the left, we have a custom built desktop PC. Components are selected by yourself or by a builder that you got to build the PC for you. And on the right, we have a desktop PC, branded computer, right? They are identical, same parts in both, but there's a big difference. A custom PC with the same parts would be 50% would be cheaper than the branded PC with the same spec. So you can't upgrade branded PCs because of 
those two licensing agreements, the EU LA and the OEM operating systems is licensed and tied to the motherboard. So if you replace the motherboard, then you're going to have to get a new operating system, which means basically you go out and you buy another computer. But if you do it the custom PC built build way, then you won't have that issue. One more thing, solid state drives. If you install a solid state drive in your computer, it doesn't have the same problems that a disk hard drive would have because there's no moving parts in a solid state drive and they are just more reliable in, in every way. They're faster, they don't get corrupted as easily and I think it's more got to do with the actual technology of flash chips. They just work and when they do fail they'll give you an indication that there isn't enough cells available. You can check that easily by doing a check disk on your computer. Minimum of twice as fast as the disk drives. And uh, I think this should be put into every PC. You, you can get a solid state drive for um, in around 90, $90 for a 120 gig solid state drive. and install your operating system and your most important programs on that drive on that solid state drive then when you need more storage add another solid state drive to it now with a custom built pc you can add two three four five six drives to, to the actual pc there's no reason why you shouldn't get solid state drives for your for your pc because they, they are reasonably priced at 90 dollars it's an important part to get right because the hard drive is the bottleneck on a computer. It's the slowest part on a computer. And with these solid state drives, that brings the speed of the computer way up. Everything is smoother. Everything runs smoother on it. So programs run better. And it's basically just an overall better experience for, for the user. So that's my advice to you. Get a solid state drive for your computer. So I hope you got something from this how-to video and uh, thanks for watching.